the Radio Master TX16S Mark II. Let's open this thing up and let's see how it's built and especially let's take a look at the internal Express LRS module which this radio has. A hidden upgrade which is actually quite nice because looks like they changed the screws that are holding the clamshell together because right now they are H2 and that means you need less of the different screwdrivers to be able to open the Radio Master and I only wish they changed those screws over here from H2.5 to H2 as well so you really need only one screwdriver to do everything but I think it's still a nice progress. The clamshell, just like before, is held together by four screws. Okay, where's the fourth one? Okay, the fourth one. And like that. So, we have the new jack for the speaker and the headphones over here. So, we will have to remove this thing okay so over here nothing really ground changing besides the second the second uh, speaker which is also by the way part of the max uh, series of the radio master tx16s one pcb nothing super fancy over here we can just put this thing away and let's start looking at the different things First of all, um, they have right now the sticker. This is a sticker. Yeah, this is only a sticker on the MCU, uh, which is right now saying Radio Master QR code and the TX16S batch 2112. So this thing was manufactured in the December of the previous year. Um, I think I will later have to open the original TX16 to compare the PCB, but so far so good and oh this is nice this is nice look at the manufacturing date of this thing this is 2021 uh, 0730 so this was made so quite a long while ago so looks like there was the upgrade to the original tx16s where they added this element because i really don't remember this element but this was not apparently designed for the Mark II. On the other hand, this PCB which holds the roller and this PCB for the buttons already says that this is V2.5, whatever V2.5 should mean. And here we have the internal Express LRS module. Let's... yeah, I think definitely let's try to make a close-up on how oh, this thing is built so we know everything main radio section which is over here this is where the sx1280 radio chipset is located is nicely shielded mm, when <sighs> rule of a thumb if the rf section is not shielded that means that someone made it cheap apparently they did not make it cheap because it's shielded and it's a very good thing because there will be less interference coming to the radio chipset and getting out of the radio chipset so this is good one more time we have the double esp setup with one two esps and they are running one is driving the RF section and everything, and second asks uh, acts as a backpack, and we have four buttons. <laughs> this is interesting. Although this is the fully internal module, there are still four buttons that allows you to do something about it, and the buttons say uh, 32AN, 32B. 82N, 82B. I have no idea what that might mean. And if we take a look at the clamshell, um, no, those buttons are not even accessible from the outside. The only thing that is accessible from the outside using this hole over here would be what? would be yeah this series of paths for external programming so if you just want to program this without opening everything you just put the special plug into it and you have the possibility of programming this thing um the layout of the pcb over here is pretty nice uh, nice thick laminate nothing special radio section nice rail sun no idea what is the rail sun and we have the single um, apex 4 antenna 
connected to the radio section. So this antenna over here is only the antenna for the Express LRS module, nothing else. Um, I think that's fine that this is ac absolutely how it should be built, so nothing special. We have the... Uh, I don't like that the fact that the switches have the small PCB to which this is only connected. So if the switch will break, you cannot just buy simply the switch soldered three wires. You have to unsolder from the small PCB and then uh, put it back together. However, this is nice, uh, nice wire, not those uh, ribbon cables that were everywhere years ago and they were always breaking. So this is nice including the plug, some basic cable management, so not everything is loose. You see, there is a zip tie over here, zip tie over there, zip tie over here, and the gimbals. The gimbals read, this is Radio Master TX16S Mag V2.3. This is over here on the gimbal, so you should be able to read it. And according to the information I got from Radio Master, this is the same sensor as in the AG01 gimbals. Only the whole gimbal is not made from aluminium and nicely machined. This is injection molding plastic everywhere. However, there are of course uh, ball bearings over here. This is even secured with some kind of the elastic, so nothing will go out this oh this is sorry this is the magnet this is the magnet over here and here we have the whole effect sensor and if you want to take a look at the bearings the bearings are over there for the roll and for the pitch no this is for the pitch and for the roll the bearings should be hidden somewhere there below that the gimbals feel kind of nice. There is, of course, a spring over here, a spring over here to apply the uh, return tension. And uh, something I already mentioned in a different video, this is the same adjustment system as the AG01. So you can adjust how the gimbal feels because you can adjust the spring on the X axis, spring on the Y axis. Also the limit for top and the down when you just want to limit the movement and also the centering of the gimbal using one of those holes and the adjustments you can just make from the outside. So this is kind of nice. I'm really puzzled about those over here four buttons, why they are here even though they are not accessible from the outside. Maybe this is just taken from the different Express LRS module that Radio Master got from somewhere, but instead of putting this into the separate case, they just slammed it over here. I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't think it makes sense to open really this thing because I honestly doubt there is anything below on the second layer of this PCB, but we can try. So no, there is nothing super special on the bottom side of the PC, but, but this is the double-sided uh, PCB because there are traces over here. The soldering over here, eh, not the prettiest one, uh, not the ugliest, but I think this was manually soldered, not with the, any automatic flow reflow process. And we also have the couple of the paths for independently and independently programming the ESP32 and ESP8 that we have over here. Uh, you see there's ESP32RXTX, an boot uh, power and the same goes for the ESP8 to something something uh, which acts as a backpack. So no, nothing, nothing super really interesting on this side. And that's the Radio Master TX16S Mark II from the inside. And uh, the last thing I noticed is that indeed the potentiometers for the sliders are much nicer now. They are much bigger, and that means that they are just feel better in your uh, in your fingers. The gimbals are of course identical, only rotated 180 degrees when moved over here, and both are the same. So you can just swap them and replace them with anything uh, you want, because this is exactly the same. Uh, interface as before and uh, something else no I think that would be all this is how the Radio Master TX16S Mark II looks on the inside looks almost like the Mark I with small modifications like the new gimbals new power section over here which they say 
uh, that they have a new power section which is much better so i think this is this one uh, better potentiometers better pots over here and in general well improvements to the standard version and the express lrs which is an option you still have you still can choose either express lrs or standard four in one module for you i'm paweł spechalski thank you very much for watching and like always happy flying